should read his news clippings, Metro News Today. Mr. Speaker, yesterday in question period, I asked some specific questions about the availability and pricing of two drugs delisted by Alberta Health as a result of the Minister's generic drug plan. Mm -hmm. Keterolac, a commonly prescribed painkiller, and Triamcin alone, used to treat arthritis, asthma, and lupus. Now, the Minister declared there'd be no problem getting these drugs, that there were multiple suppliers. Will the Minister take the opportunity to correct his answers from yesterday and provide Albertans with updated factual information regarding these medicines? Yeah, Mr. Speaker, what I will take the opportunity to do, as apparently it wasn't sufficient yesterday, is to inform or attempt to inform the Honourable Member about the process for drug listing in this province. Mr. Speaker, like most jurisdictions across the country, drug companies present pricing on a monthly basis to government. On that basis, government determines whether it will buy the previously listed drug or whether it will delist that drug and buy the same drug with the same active ingredient, most often from another generic manufacturer or often from a brand name source. Mr. Speaker, we make a broad range of drugs available to Albertans on a consistent basis. The uh, adding and support. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Honourable Leader. Brutal. Mr. Speaker, after question period yesterday, Alberta Health was scrambling to fill some of the gaps in their new list of approved drugs. They tweeted they'd made a mistake on penicillin oh. and had to relist a drug called Apopen. Oh, so we were now, right. on April 1st, the price of Apopen penicillin jumped from about $7 to just under $19. That is two and a half times more expensive. Why does the minister claim that his plan will reduce the price of generic drugs when this is quite clearly a massive increase? Mr. Speaker, there are over 4,000 drugs that are listed in Alberta under our drug benefit plan. The drug Keterolac, for example, which was in fact delisted in the last listing, has been replaced by a drug with the same active ingredient called Toradol. Mr. Speaker, the listing and delisting of drugs each month is in response to prices that are set responsibly by this government in, in our attempt to get the best value for taxpayer payer dollars possible. The Honourable Member should support that process. The Honourable Member has an obligation to understand it if she intends to criticize it in this House. And Mr. Speaker, this is just another example of fear-mongering about health care that frankly... expensive brand name drug, isn't it, Mr. Minister? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the same drug company that I mentioned, its price list shows new prices for about 15 generic drugs, all with significant price increases. Double, triple, and in one case, 340 percent higher than last year. When will the minister admit that his poorly conceived plan for lower drug prices is actually resulting in Albertans paying higher drug prices out of their own pockets? Here, here. Mr. Speaker, this isn't actually a complex issue, but if the Honourable Member wants to make it complex, uh, she's certainly free to do so. The fact of the matter, Mr. Speaker, is there are over 4,000 drugs listed in Alberta. Prices change monthly. They change in Alberta. They change in other provinces. Manufacturers and distributors respond to activity in the marketplace. Mr. Speaker, we ensure through a system uh, that, that we have in place that we get the best value for taxpayer dollars, and we make sure that we have all drugs in the same cluster with the same active ingredients available to Albertans. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member should know that the way these savings are achieved is by balancing the delisting and, de and uh, listing over time. Thank you, Honourable Minister. 